so that is a dispute right and not only that from the bangladesh they have ventured into assam okay as i told you here below the meghalaya here are having the forest area right from the forest they simply can enter into the assam just simply walk it there is a reason because of which lots of west bengali people are present in assam and also in bangladesh guys and for that we are having the national registration okay nrcs cas etc etc the government has come up with guys that is not the part and parcel of our geography so we are not discussing them okay so this is between the boundary uh, the disputes between india and bangladesh okay and till recently we were not having any dispute with uh, nepal till recently we are not having any dispute with nepal but recently there arises a dispute okay see the nepalese government has taken the cue or taken the backing from chinese fellows and they started claiming the land of kalapani guys okay actually this is nepal okay so the river kali is said to be the boundary line between india and nepal okay so all the areas which are present to the west of kali belong to india west of kali india right east of kali nepal and that was the precedence which has been followed by india and nepal from the past 70 years but recently what happened the uli government which is present in nepal they started saying that indians have forcefully occupied our lands because the origin of kali again i am i am going to tell something guys if this is the kali we are considering this as the origin point of kali right the chinese are considering one of the tributary of kali and they say that this is the origin of kali so when this is uh, the chinese government says that this is the origin of kali what happened all these areas are automatically becoming nepal's but what we are telling this is the origin of kali so all these areas belong to india only so that is the dispute of the kalapani so most probably the dispute will be solved am amicably guys because now the nepal is in turmoil right and the nepal is getting lots of funds and support from china so whoever supports you you will be praising them or you will be going on along with them only guys there is a thing which is happening between the nepal and china and there arises the dispute of kalapani region guys and have you seen this the kali river the origin of the kali river is said to be the disputed point guys okay other than that we don't have any dispute right because the nepal and india border is highly porous people from this areas will be going to that and that areas will be coming to this without any passport we don't require any passport to go to nepal so like roti beti rishta is there among nepal and the uh, bihar and up guys because they will be coming to work here right they will be having the alliances the marriage proposals right so there is a reason because of lots of relationships have developed but because of the recent government proposals the relationships got strained okay and next coming to bhutan okay bhutan is our most important ally guys right we had never faced any difficulties with the bhutan related to any of the areas guys because bhutan is said to be the protectorate state of india okay bhutan is the protectorate state of india after we got the independence we have drawn an agreement with them stating that we will be protecting your interests in the world arena okay there is a reason because of which whatever they want to do inside bhutan they will be doing guys the bhutanese will be doing but 
all the international relations of Bhutan, all the border disputes of Bhutan will be solved or taken care by the Indian government, guys. That is called as a protectorate state. There is a reason because of which the Doklam area and all the Indian government, right, ventured into this area as so the Chikanek area and Indian government is supporting Bhutan for their social and economic stabilities, guys. Okay, so we don't have any disputes with Bhutan, right? And with Myanmar also we don't have any disputes except few years back the Myanmaris junta have entered into these areas, guys. Because till here you are having the Myanmar and this is the Bangladesh. Okay, so the Myanmar junta, that is the Myanmar military has ventured into these areas of Tripura and they claimed that it is our land. But morning they have ventured into our lands or Tripura, right? And when the Indian government uh, has raised that issue in the evening, simply they moved off saying that, okay, we are very sorry, we don't want to be the part and parcel of that dispute, so we are moving off. There is a reason because of which when the Doklam issue was happening between India and China, right? Chinese external ministry reiterated that word saying that our forces are not Myanmari forces or the Burmese forces, right? When we have come there, it is our land. We will not be moving out of that area. That was the quote which was quoted by the Chinese external ministry guys. Okay, so these are the disputes and our relations with the neighboring countries, guys. Okay, so we have done with China, Pakistan, right, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, Myanmar. And with Afghanistan, we don't have any dispute because it is the part and parcel of the Pakistan occupied Kashmir. So India is not having the direct access to the Durand line, guys. Okay, so this is related to the boundary lines and the boundary disputes between India and the surrounding countries. Yeah. Next comes the routes into India, the entry points into India. Right. Most of the times in the historical books, you will be listening to the Khyber and Bolan passes, guys. Right. From the Khyber pass, they say that the Greeks, Bacterians have entered or the Central Asians have entered into India, right? And from the Bolan Pass, you will be uh, studying, saying, uh, studying that the Arabs and the Africans have entered into India. So, these were the only two important entry points into India, guys. Right? Because India is such a country which is surrounded by, the Indian subcontinent is such a country uh, area which is surrounded by the mountains on all the sides, right? If you look at here, these are all Himalayas, okay? And above the Himalayas, here you are having the Hindu Kush, okay? Then you are having the Zagros, these are the Hindu Kush, and here you are having the Zagros mountains, right? Here, Iran, and this is Pakistan. After the Hindu Kush, this is Pakistan, right? Here, Afghanistan. And this entire thing is India. Okay. And here also you are having the mountains. So, from all the sides, right? India or Indian subcontinent is surrounded by the mountains. So, if anyone has to enter India, they have to enter through the passes. Okay. Mountain passes. Mountain passes are the low-lying areas in between two of the mountains. If these are the mountains, guys, right? Any of the, in between these areas, they will be having some low-lying areas through which the people can walk through. Okay. So, the low-lying areas between two of the mountains is called as a pass. So, passes are the only places through which the people have ventured into India, guys. Okay. So, here you are having the Khyber and here you are having the Bolan Pass. Okay, Bolan Pass, this area is the Baluchistan, guys. Okay, this is the 
tribal areas of Pakistan, Pushtun. Okay, there is a reason because of which both the Baluchis and Pushtuns of Pakistan have got lots of respect to India and the Indian entity, guys. Okay, so wherever you are having the pass, okay, pass is the place where the people from other side countries will be entering into your country, right? And the pass is a small low lying area, and mountain is not a small mountain, guys. Right? There will be series of mountains present here. Right? So the passes will be coming like this. Okay? So what happened? This area, the entry point and this area is the exit point of the pass. Just for our understanding guys, I am telling this. This is the exit point. These are all the mountainous areas and this is the entry point. So what happened? the people will be sheltering here or here if they are entering from here the exit will be this so whenever they are going from this side right before venturing into these mountains because they have to walk through the mountains and previously the mountainous areas were full of wild so if there is the uh, evening right after the afternoon people never used to start their journeys guys after the afternoon because if they are venturing here after the afternoon it may become the dark right once it becomes dark there is possibility of these people getting killed by the wild animals so they used to have their shelters developed here guys so this entry and exit point surrounding the passes they have developed into the business centers obviously the fellows who are coming from here they will be staying in the night Right? When they stay in the night, they, they require some wood for preparation or some food for eating or for some area to sleep the night. Right? So that is how these two points have developed into the business points. And who will be doing the business guys? Only the fellows who are having the money. So what happened into this Baluchistan and Puktun areas? Most of Indian people ventured and they have developed the business here, guys. That is the reason because of which the Baluchis and the Puktuns have got lots of respect to India, guys. Okay. So, the Khyber and Bolan passes were the routes of entry into India in the olden entities. But there are some passes which are present in India, guys, which are acting as the uh, connecting points within India or with the surrounding Tibet area, guys. Let us discuss just the names of that passes. Number one, Zozilla Pass. Okay, the Zozilla Pass is the one which is acting as the connecting point between Ladakh and Srinagar. Okay, Ladakh and Srinagar. Okay, then comes the Burzil Pass, B U R Z I L, Burzil Pass, right? This is the connecting point between Srinagar and Gilgit. Gilgit Baltistan of POK, guys. Okay, that is Burzil Pass. Then comes Banihal Pass. Just now I have told about the Banihal Pass. It connects Srinagar and Jammu. Okay, so these are the important passes, guys. Because once the Srinagar and Gilgit is reached, guys, from Srinagar Gilgit is reached, from there you can reach into Afghanistan very easily. Okay, and from Srinagar, if you are uh, reaching Ladakh, at that time entering into Tibet becomes easily. Okay, from Srinagar, if you are coming to Jammu, right? the Indian mainland will become very easily accessible. Okay, so these three of the important paths are present in Jammu and Kashmir, guys. Right? Next comes the Bara Lachala Pass and Shipkila Pass. Bara Lachala and Shipkila. Both of these are present in Himachal Pradesh. Right? And the Shipkila is the one through which the Hindustan Tibet Road passes, guys. Shipkila is the pass through which the Hindustan 
Tibet road passes connecting Shimla of India with Gartok of Tibet Gartok